Yo, it's your boy, Quan. Look, so check this out, man. I'm in the crib today, probably like a lot of you folks. Um, but uh, I want to do this video because I was having a conversation on the game not too long ago. You know, for some odd reason, when I'm doing these videos, I'm always on the game playing some 2K. You did, and um. I was just having this conversation in, in the group, so I said, why did I not bring that to uh, YouTube? You know what I'm saying? And the biggest question was, basically, is LeBron James the greatest small forward of all time? Now, in my opinion, I would have to say, I don't think that he's the greatest small forward in his own like generation you did what I'm saying I believe that there is one small forward possibly two that are going to be better that are better than him or going to be better than him in the in the long run now I don't now when I say better I mean in like overall game, right? LeBron James, let's say that this. LeBron James is the greatest playmaking small forward as far as passing. Not ball handling, you know what I'm saying? But just passing. He's I will say he's the greatest passing small forward. I wanna say. Yeah, the greatest passing small forward. I can't say that he's the best defensive small forward. That would be a lie. I can't say that he's the better shooting power forward. That would be a lie. I can't say that he is the greatest teammate or the greatest player to, to, player to coach. Because that would be a lie. You dig what I'm saying? If you break down LeBron James' game, He is a great player. A lot of you, a lot of people like to say he's the greatest, but I feel like that's recency bias because people that are, I want to say, maybe 26, 25 and lower, you know what I'm saying? Don't even really even know who Michael Jordan is. They know his shoe. You know what I'm saying? Unless you just end the basketball, you probably really don't even know who he is unless you, you know what I'm saying? I want to say about 25 and under maybe. Cause 26, eh, you might know. Yeah, about 25 and under. Maybe 24. But I'm not sh for sure. But this is what I will say. If I had to choose because you can go old school, you go like Julius Irvin, uh, Larry Bird, one uh, Dominique got Dominique Wilkins, uh, who's that to play with for the Lakers? Uh, 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 his name is Escape, escaping me. And I'll tell you the reason why people don't probably put Dominique as high as he is because he didn't high as, as, as great as uh, one of the greatest small fours is because he didn't win the ring. Well, that's not his fault that the Atlanta Hawks, as always, never knew how to put a team together. You know what I'm saying? They never gave him the right assets or pieces to work with. You know what I'm saying? Um, or they never spend the money, but that's for all of the other teams, man. They like, for some odd reason, we can do what we got. No, we can't, man. You see what other other folks got? You dig what I'm saying? Larry Bird, hey man, he might be the greatest, you know, shooting. I I, I don't know, just all around game. I, I don't know. I, he he was a pit bull, man. Larry was a pit bull. Him and him, him and him and um Dominique went was battling, man. Battling, man. Dominique got robbed in that dunk contest. But hey, that's 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 a whole nother video. Um, so I'm not gonna go that far back because people have a lot of recency bias. So they don't really even know 
uh, probably how any of those players play, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I don't think people would really take the time to go look up uh, any of those, any, any, any old school small forward, honestly, like that. Um, but if you gonna go today, you got people like Kawhi, Paul George. I think Giannis is a small forward. They got him listed as a small forward slash power forward or something like that. Um, you got Kevin Durant. You know, those are the only people that you can really, I mean, you can really, you, you had Carmelo, but Carmelo, <sighs> Carmelo, Carmelo. Boy, you you, 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 you had, Carmelo had so much talent. He, he it, it's like, I don't know, bro. Like Carmelo is like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> like, it's like, wait, it, it's, I, I call that wasted talent and potential. You did what I'm saying? But if I, me, if I had to choose a small forward, that's the greatest small forward of all time and still writing his story, it's Kevin Durant. It ain't no doubt about it in my mind. And the reason I say it's Kevin Durant, two years in a row, square in the middle, a LeBron James eye. Two years in a row. In the middle of his eye. In the same location. Won the championship in LeBron James face like it wasn't nothing. Game winners. You dig what I'm saying? And people want to say, well, Kevin Durant has Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green. I want y'all to stop with this nonsense of saying, oh, you can't compare LeBron James. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. LeBron James knew if he would have stayed in Cleveland, he would have never won the ring. He knew he had to go down to Miami and play with Dwayne Wade, who was the better player at the time. Then he took a step back in order to let LeBron James flourish and grow. And he played with Chris Bosh. A lot of y'all folks be disrespecting Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh was that guy. You dig what I'm saying? But some odd reason, power forward. And then Chris Bosh had to change his game to play with LeBron. Honestly, all power forwards usually have to change their game when they play, if they are dominating post and, and I ain't gonna say dumb. Dominated or they go crazy in the post. You feel me? Chris Bosh used to go crazy in the post in Toronto. When he got to Miami, they wanted him to start shooting all these long threes and whatnot. Like Chris Bosh, he'll shoot the three, he'll shoot the two, but you know what I'm saying? He used to play out the play, he used to post post the outside. It was like outside the post when he played with LeBron. Same thing with Kevin Love. Like, they had to change their game. Like, Anthony Davis, his game is. is it's, 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 Anthony Davis is that guy. LeBron James know he gotta take a step back. He ain't that guy no more. He ain't like that. You dig what I'm saying? He ain't like that no more. You dig what I'm saying? But I want y'all to stop disrespecting Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh, let me tell you something. That 2011 when they lost to the Mavericks, Chris Bosh was the only player that was going fucking insane on him. He was the only one going insane. He was the only one doing his thing. Let me tell you something, another reason. Who was the one that got that rebound that passed it to Ray Allen in the corner? Clutch! Stop disrespecting Chris Bosh. Get that man his proper dupe. You know what I'm saying? That man was a monster. Uh. But I will say, I would say Kevin Durant is the greatest small forward of all time. He is unguardable. He has, as far as small forwards, Kevin Durant has the best ball handle out of all the small forwards of all time. LeBron James ain't got nothing on Kevin Durant when it comes to ball handling. 
I gotta figure out why 2K don't have a Kevin Durant dribble style on the game. Or do they? I need to go look that up. Matter of fact, I'm right here on the game. I need to look that up. Because, that, man, Kevin Durant got his handle so, whoo, it's so, it's so, it's so, oh, uh, ah, uh, oh, uh, it's so smooth, man. It's crazy, man. That man be dropping folks, man. Kevin Durant is that guy, man. LeBron James is, it's kind of, LeBron James got a stiff dribbling style, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you got a stiff, like, well, how he shoot is real stiff, too. You dig what I'm saying? I got the camera going everywhere. But, hey, Kevin Durant, and as far as defense, I want y'all to stop with this notion that LeBron James one of these greatest, one of the greatest defenders of small forward. Like, if I had to stack them up against each other, LeBron James is a, a very good defender, just like Kevin Durant. Um... The only reason LeBron James can probably guard a post better than LeBron because he weight got a whole ton heavier than this man. In my opinion. <laughs> That's my opinion. That's my opinion, but <laughs> you can feel otherwise. If you stack them up in, in, in front of if you, LeBron James, let's take away the chase down. That, and I never understood why folks, when, when they see LeBron James trying to chase them down, why they just didn't wait, pump fake, and make this man fire you. I never understood that shit. I never understood why y'all just them, them pump fake. Wait for him to jump. Go up, get the foul. He gonna get he gonna foul. They, 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 they never understood. I never understood that. That's the only thing LeBron James is good, really great at on defense. He's not a great steal, man. You know what I'm saying? He might be a good post defender because he's big. I don't even know if he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a good post defender. I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna say he's not. He's a good post defender. But as, as far as good, great, he's only good, great at chase downs. And that's because folks are idiots. Like, I, I never understood that. Like, y'all going full speed. Okay. And I see him behind me. Let me, let me. let me slow down a little bit. Let me slow down just a bit. Oh, I think a lot of folks be saying, you know what? I'm going to try this chase down to see if I can get a dunk on the run. That's probably one reason. But that's just my opinion. Now, I could be wrong in that, but I don't think I'm wrong. I think I'm dead right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I believe Kevin Durant is the greatest small fool. He can pull up from he can, he can shake you out your shoes and your shorts. You walk around out there in your underwear. You know what I'm saying? Um, defense, he's, he's, man, man is 6'11", 7 feet tall. We ain't spending like 8 feet, 8 feet, 9 feet long. You dig what I'm saying? So of course he can play defense. You, he, he, put his, he put his arms out like this here, and he, and, and he got you in defensive stance. How you gonna get around him? So think about that. You know what I'm saying? Only way you gonna get him if get Kevin Durant off, off, off defense as far as straight up defending. If you can't, he coming off the switch. That's the only way you get Kevin Durant. I would, I would believe. Man, man alone as that man alone as a 12 feet pool, man. Man alone, man. Man alone. You know what I'm saying? The man alone. Pause. 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 Paul, you know what I'm saying? I want y'all to stop disrespecting man, kind of man and snake because he went to uh, Golden State. I want y'all to get the same energy to LeBron when he went to Miami. You dig what I'm saying? You want to go play with two All-Stars, okay? Kevin Durant went to go play with three. And I don't really call Draymond Green a great, I mean, offensively, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what well, we know. He, he was he been playing this season with Golden State, and it ain't look it didn't, it didn't look too good. You know what I'm saying? He got hurt. You know what I'm saying? Mysteriously. <laughs> but hey, as far as him being with Golden State, yeah, I guess. But Draymond Green, nah, come on, he played with two basically. I would say two true Hall of Famers. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even know. Yeah, you got Clay Thompson and you got Steph Curry. LeBron James played with Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Hmm. Hmm. And a variety of shooters. A whole lot of those. A whole lot of those. And I wish I would say Andre Iguodala is a Hall of Famer. Andre Iguodala, he good. But he ain't. You know what, it's the NBA Hall of Fame. Maybe they will. But he ain't, in my book, he ain't no Hall of Famer. You know what I'm saying? Honestly. 
But that's my opinion. Hey, but let me know in y'all comments in, in the comments down below who y'all believe is the greatest small sport of all time. I did this video because I just had a conversation about it. This is my opinion. You can have your own opinion. But hey, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe on the video. I will link my um, Instagram, my Twitter, and all that in the in, in my description box. Make sure y'all go follow me on those uh, social medias. You dig? Um, I'm trying to get these followers up. I need y'all help. 